Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to look at how to create a drill down report. This video was recorded in April 2021 using Visual Studio 2012. Um, so a drill down report is where you've got a, a, like a parent report that has a hyperlink in it and you can click in it and it takes you to another report. So it might be that you've got a list of financial information with a list of offices and all sorts of financial details to do with that office and you can click on the office potentially and it takes you to a report based on that office with a bit more information so it's just a way of linking one parent report to a child report and i'm going to show you how you set that thing up so on screen i've got um, a very basic report that shows employees who work under managers so if i preview the report there is a parameter drop down that is a list of managers and if I select a manager and I click view report it will show me the people that work under that manager or the people that are linked with that manager so that's all I mean all well and good the report will work um, as a standalone report however imagine we had another report a manager list report with all sorts of information based on that manager and then you want to actually click on the manager to go into a list of their staff so let us create a, a parent report in this example that we're talking about this is going to be a child element of the two reports so let's click on reports we're going to click on add new item usually by default it selects report wizard we don't want that we're just going to select report and let's call it manager report uh, create a new data source I have in a previous video created shared data source and we're going to use the adventure works um, I'll leave it as data source one the default and I got a pre-prepared piece of SQL so if I go to use the data set embedded and I choose text and I paste in my sequel there it is i've got to select the data source and when i do a refresh fields uh it's accepted that it's happy although that second we might have a problem with the second field yeah there you go so um the first field has got a name but this second field i've done an is null um without giving the field an actual um alias so now i've done that if i refresh fields again and we go to the fields the second now should have an alias of title that's better uh okay i'll now click on insert insert the table and put in the managers uh let's insert another couple of columns okay right so now if i preview that we should just get a list of managers fine um just very quickly i will sort out the date select numbers select date and select the date format without a time element okay so now i'll preview that so now this is the list of managers i mean this is just a quick example obviously you put some sort of head of and that sort of thing to make it look a bit more presentable but it's, but generally this is it there's a list of managers now what you can do is you can select one of these fields here so i'm going to set this first name field i'm going to right click and i'm going to choose text box properties and under on the left hand side we've been here before because there's all sorts of formatting you can do it's where you select your number setups so you can do your data types um We've looked at the kind of these top areas here, but if we go down to action, and we can now select, we could choose a, to, to go to a, um, a bookmark that we've set up or to go to a URL, to go to a web page. but actually let's say we're gonna to go to a report. And when we select go to a report, it's gonna find reports in our current um, solution. And we have a manager employees report, which is the one I was looking at before. Now it says use parameters for this report. So this, employee uh, manager employees report has a parameter so if we click add it should it should offer you all of the parameters that are in this child report of which there is one and then this side here is the value in the apparent report that you want uh, to be used 
to populate the parameter on the child report. So let's click OK. Now, let me just for the sake of this include the business entity. That's just an ID. We don't need it as such, but I want to include it just to kind of demonstrate a little bit more this solution. So now I've created this and it was really generally quite quick. If I click preview, you should now see that when I hover over um, the name, the the arrows change ever so slightly to a little hand. Now, if I click on one of those, so I click on, well, Gary Altman was the one example we did before, business ID 227. If I click on the name Gary, it will take me now to this report here. The um, This is now the manager employees report. Now, the fact that we've gone from the manager report, we've still got the manager report highlighted here. We're not in the manager employees report. Um, from this point of view, we're still in the manager report. But what what it's done is it's it's jumped to the child report. Now, while we're here, because it knows there's kind of a relationship between the two reports, we've got a little arrow here. Now, because of my resolution, this arrow is very, very small, but when you actually do it um, in your own environment, the arrow ought to be bigger. If I hover over it, you can see it says back to parent report. And when I click on the back button, it will take me back to this report. And I will now click on Stephanie Conway, see who works under her. And there's the list of the people who are associated with Stephanie Conway, including her herself. And that, nice and quickly, is how you set up uh, a drill down report or a parent and child report. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, please give me a like. If you've got any comments, I appreciate any feedback that, you, that you've got. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.